CBS 2 News, a breaking news report. Good morning. I'm Bilbo Baggins, and this is Eagles MC Squared News, coming straight out of Minnesota. Our first story today, some guy in Minneapolis walked 15 feet, 13 degrees west of north, and then 20 feet due south. What's this little displacement? Who cares? In other news, the Giants made the Super Bowl today. On it is Ryan Metz. He was there after the game. Oh, Eli, 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 you and the Giants are going to the Super Bowl. Let's talk about how you guys managed to beat the Packers. Well, uh, it was a hard-fought game. We're just really proud right now. How does the rain affect the game? Well, the coefficient of friction was less, making the force of friction less. It really hurt our running game. Well, you really made up for it with your passing. What was going through your mind when you threw that last-second touchdown pass to Plexico? Well, you see, I saw Plexico was about 35 yards downfield, which converts to 32.004 meters. He was open, but the window was closing fast. I had maybe two seconds to get the ball there. So using a quick kinematic full trajectory formula, I calculated that I would have to throw the ball 16.002 meters per second in the X direction, downfield. And since I knew the optimal angle for launches was 45 degrees, I then calculated that I had to throw the ball approximately 22.63 meters per second at a 45 degree angle. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Ryan. Good story. Anyway, we'll finish today's broadcast uh, with a little teaser clip here. For all of you Harry Potter fans that thought the series was over, think again. Hedwig, be quiet. Your relative intensity level is too loud. Uncle Vernon will hear you. Oh no, the image in my eye is converging too soon. I need my diverging lenses. Alright, let's see here. Snell's Law. N1 sine of theta 1 equals N2 sine of theta 2. That's how I can find the angle of refraction. This looks useful. The kinematic formulas. V equals V0 plus AT. Now you've done it, Hedwig! Your sound has diffracted around the corner into Uncle Vernon's room! magic that killed my parents. It was physics. Force of friction, your calculator will sit right out that door. Oh, oh, really? Force of friction? Yes, it's force natural times mu. Oh, oh, wow, that's amazing. Yes. I yes. always thought it was magic that stopped my books from sliding right out. No, door. it's physics. Wow. Can I sit here? Sure, sit right down. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Ron. Ron. Ron Weasley. Oh, uh, I'm Harry Potter. Ha Harry Potter? Hey, are you the boy with the, uh, the fader on my forehead! Yes. It's the only scar I had from the car crash that killed my parents. They couldn't deaccelerate fast enough. There was too much force and not enough time. It wasn't magic that killed my parents. It was physics. Bloody impulse physics! So, uh, 
Where are all your belongings? Well, I don't really need them. I don't take any notes. I don't do anything in any of my classes. Oh. Oh, all right. Where's your glasses? Oh, oh, I actually wear corrective lenses now. Contacts. Really? Really, really. Really? <laughs> really, really? Really, really? Professor Snape Lottie, you may all be under the impression that in this world there is only magic. Well, that impression is very false, isn't it, Professor? Uh, but if everything is physics, then how are you just invisible? Index of refraction. Mine was only one. The same index of refraction as the air. So... So the light passed right through me. All physics! One more question. If it's all physics, then where did everybody go? Cho. Oh, the light. Who is there? It's me, Harry. Harry Potter. Oh, hi, Harry. I see you now. My eyes have to dilate to let more light hit my retinas. Come, sit with me. How are you, Harry? I'm wonderful. And how are you, Cho? I'm well, thank you. Oh, Cho, you look radiant as all the different wavelengths of light and all the different colors of the spectrum reflect off of your opaque face. Oh, Harry, and your scar, it looks so dashing in the green light. The easiest color in the spectrum for that human eye to see. Oh, Cho. When I lived in the other world, I thought that, that love was something magical. But now that I understand the law of universal gravitation, I know that everything that has mass is attracted to one another. And the closer I get to you, oh, Harry, the more attracted I am to you. And the more massive two things are, the more attracted to one another they are. And baby, you've got mass. Oh, Harry! <laughs> That didn't hurt at all. Well, let me teach you something real quick. All right. Force and mass are directly related. So if you use something with more mass, there'll be more force. It'll hurt more. Here, take that. That's all we have for you tonight. Until next time, good night. This has been Breaking News from CBS2.